curiosity, I want to see what he does on 12-3 Brutal. I wonder if he's a six second farmer. I don't think he's a six second farmer. His animations kind of take a while. But he gets the job done. Eight seconds. You know, I mean, there's not too much of a difference between eight and, and six seconds. It's two seconds, you know what I mean? I saw this post talking about how Thor is capable of soloing Nightmare Campaign. So I thought to myself, okay, well, with my current build that I have for Thor, um, which is still in the beta testing thing like he's not optimized completely yet this is the current build that i have him in and it's not the best build i'm still working on it and he doesn't have masteries and he's not booked either soul reap in case you're wondering this is what i'm rocking with i guess the question i have for you guys is do you think he would be better in anything else i am thinking crushing ren but only at six stars because that's when every hit, not just the first or the set, the first two hits, is going to ignore defense. Now, I thought another thing could be Phantom Touch, but then I saw the bonus stats, and they don't compare to the legendary bonus stats that we're going to get once we get the five stars, or even if you're just going for the third or the fourth star. So, I'll show you guys the build in a minute. I tried this out on my phone while I was at work. Now, it works. But I only did it once, so I'm going to try it out again a few times and, and see how consistent this is. Thor has actually been amazing so far. He's, well, right now he's just walking through these guys like it's nobody's business. And that sky rupture that he does has actually saved me in live arena quite a few times. Now him in Merciless, I think, is really cool because we're getting that mini reflex chance, right? That... 40% chance to decrease cooldowns. Now, I am privy to Merciless right now. On my other account, my main account, where I do have Slayer gear, eventually when I get both of my Thors up to five stars and max out and optimize their builds, I'm going to do a video talking about, or showcasing, I should say, the difference between um, Thor in both Merciless and Slayer. I'm going to try him out in both. I'll compare both. Now, I can't promise you it's going to be a perfect one-to-one, -one, but, you know, we could see the difference. And here, like, it's it's awesome. It's beautiful to see him whenever he does his, now, 22 seconds nightmare. That's awesome. It does matter, I think, if uh, the, the type of Pokemon that we bring into the run with him, right? If we bring Pokemon that's, that's um, faster, like, if you're trying to level up legendaries, it's going to take a little bit longer because the ads are going to, or the people, the Pokemon you take with you are going to take extra turns. But look at that. He's going really fast, decreasing cooldowns quite often, like every other turn. That was, look, three times in a row. That's awesome. And that's why initially I was thinking Merciless, because we get the ignore damage. And, you know, bringing him into Hydra, I brought him into Hydra the other day in a different video. He outdamaged my Acrisias. Both of my Acrisias got outdamaged. I think there was only one other champion that that didn't do more damage than than he did, but he was like only a million off, only a million difference. I think I can check what that team was, but this is awesome to see. But I am I'm I'm very excited to see what he's going to be like once I max him out completely, book him out, get the masteries for him, as well as the Thor on my other account, and put that one in Slayer, and this one I'm going to keep in Merciless. I'm going to see if I can get the. I haven't done the uh, the Thor run, but I think it was, who did I, was it Brutal? No, no, no. I think it might have been Brutal. I can't remember who he, had. oh, it was Nightmare. I did Nightmare, I think. Oh, Gaelic, Supreme Gaelic. I, I took out, I actually took out Inquisitor Shamael, and I did all four of these guys together. And he actually did more damage than both of my Acrisias. I'd have to check. I think both Acrisias did like 20 mil, just about. And Gaelic did like 34, 35 or something like that. And Thor was only like a million off, right? And so that was pretty cool. I am curious to see how he does in Ultra Nightmare right now. So I've already done one key, but I don't mind just for this, you know, quick test. Um, this is what I've, I've done, 82 mil with this team here, it's a trad team. Sometimes it does more, sometimes it does less. I'm going to take out 
Harima, and we're just gonna throw Thor in and let it ride, see what we're doing with Ultra Nightmare. We are positive affinity with Thor, so keep that in mind. So again, Thor doesn't have um, any books or anything, no masteries, and we're doing 42 million with him doing 14 million being out damaged by Iron Gut Grazer. So let me just go ahead and put my old team back. Uh, I think just the whole concept of Harima and Mikage together is astronomically better. And yeah, this is my, like, I, I just, I don't think I can find a better team yet, but we'll see until I get better, newer champions. So that's the run for the for clan boss. Now I'm going to show you guys the build that I have for Thor. I've shown it, showcased it in, um, different, in a, in a different video, but this is, like I said, what we're rocking. Merciless gives you extra attack, crit damage, speed. And then the 30% chance, I think Reflex is a 40% chance, but we get on a four piece set, a 30% chance to decrease a random skill cooldown so that he's constantly pumping out Fulminous Ricochet and his Hammer of Heaven and all of these moves here, including the Masteries. When I get Masteries, if I was to take um, War Master or Giant Slayer, I think I would take War Master because his A1 is a two hitter, but I don't know, what do you guys think? I don't know if it's gonna proc for Helm Smasher. I'm pretty sure it does. Boozer did a test and he confirmed that masteries do add to his passive, the Sky Rupture. And I, let me tell you guys, like this move has saved me so many times in live arena. Like I can't, I, I can't tell you guys how many times I thought I was going to lose a fight only to have Thor proc his Sky Rupture ability that it, it doesn't tickle. It actually hits decently hard. Yeah, Thor, if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it down below. But Thor is actually fucking disgusting as shit, dude. He is amazing. And I'm not only is he a cool champion to have, but I'm just really happy that I got him. He's a fun champion. Really happy that I went for him. And he's not like my best nuker in the game in my on this account, but he's definitely uh he's he's up there. He's up there as one of my favorite ones uh just by sheer uh <laughs> skills and application. I'm just having fun with him. But uh, here are the stats, if you're wondering, to compare. Now, I know what some of you guys are going to say, like, oh, I don't have Merc gear because Merc gear is for Centronos or pay-to-win players or people who've been playing for five plus years, such as myself, or you're going to say that about Slayer. Guys, other options are going to be Savage, Three Piece Cruel or whatever Cruel, just basically any ignore damage um, sets that you can get, right? So do your best. Mm, Savage ignores enemy defense. You're looking at, um, let's see, where's a Cruel? Cruel, you have 5%. Even one of these, that's ignoring 5%. Back in the day, before I could even do Fire Knight, I was rocking three pieces or three sets of Cruel. That's 15% ignoring enemy defense. It's not ideal, but it's still something to, to work on to put temporarily until you get the gear that you want, right? You could also do Lethal. If you're the type of guy who does Dark Fae whenever it comes around. Instinct, if you're a pay-to-win guy. There's, yeah, and then there's Merciless, of course, that you get from Centranos. Um, and then I think this would be a pretty, pretty nice pair. Now, here are the specific pieces of gear. Again, priority stats. If you're wondering what stats to prioritize, definitely 100% crit rate, attack, crit damage. So we got crit damage here. I wish this was attack percent, but this is the only chest that is decent right now for my Merciless. In fact, scratch that, that's my only Merciless chest that I have. I think the other one's on Acrisia. And then we have speed on speed, crit rate. So again, speed or attack, let me actually just show you this. Priority stats are attack, speed, 100% crit rate, as much crit damage as you can get. Accuracy is preferred if you can get it. I'm actually not sure. If this stun matter, like if, does this stun need accuracy? I'm pretty sure it does. But then it just says places. I don't know. I, I have to, well, I'm pretty sure one of you guys are going to educate me here. So let me know if stun needs accuracy. I'm pretty sure it needs accuracy. But at the very least, if you're taking him into Hydra, you still want accuracy to place a decrease speed. Now, the other argument as to why you're going to see I didn't prioritize accuracy is because I have other champions to fill those roles and I'd much rather prefer to have Thor 
do his one job and do it very well, right? So I just want him to nuke, I want him to dish out damage, and that's it. So uh, attack, speed, crit rate, crit damage. Uh, survivability stats are also really important. He's very squishy with 2600 defense. 54, like if I could, I'd probably drop this down to 45k HP, bring this up to 3k defense for a little bit more balance. And yeah, now I know what some of you guys are going to say, like, oh, burrito, um, these stats are unattainable for me. And yeah, I, I agree. Uh, most of you guys who are even watching this or paying attention this far are probably... Um, still in the learning process, so you're probably not going to be able to get this much crit damage or attack. So what I'm going to do here is, especially since it's the free regearing right now, I know that this doesn't probably provide like the best relatability, um, but again, I've never been the one to be relatable. I kind of just do whatever I want, and if you like it, you like it. If you don't, then you know you, you don't and that's that's fine but there are other content creators who do more quote-unquote relatable free-to-play stuff it, it's one of those things where it's just like it doesn't matter what i do if i if i show you relatable free-to-play builds and i'm gonna say this again because i have a video uh talking about this in the future if i do something that the free-to-play people like then they're happy but then the pay to winners or the people who are more end gamer are like oh you could do better by doing this and if i do better then i get assholes saying oh or not assholes well everybody who talks shit is basically an asshole to me um, it, but again, it depends on how you, how you present the information to me. If you're, if you're not a dick about it and you, you're like, Hey, by the way, you know, I think that this might be, and you want to have a conversation then that's cool. But if you're going to come out swinging, then I'm just going to block you. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, if I do something pay to win, then I get people saying, Oh, it's not relatable. Let's be relatable. So I'm just like, okay, damned if I do, damned if I don't, we're dropping this down. I took off the jewelry and with that, we're going to only have, uh, just about 4.3 attack 200 speed and we still have our 100 crit rate and then 225 defense which i hope is a little bit more attainable i don't think that the, and again it could just be me being jaded and unrelatable um but we'll, uh, let's see if we can still solo nightmare using this again no books no masteries uh let me see here let's just do this all right let's check it does thor still do it and it looks like he's doing pretty well. We'll see. He's not as fast as he was before. That decreased turn meter is pretty nice. Does he... Did you guys see if he placed the stun? Okay, so it looks like he's starting to struggle a bit here. Okay, well, we got that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This might be it. Oh, we're positive affinity. That's another thing here. Oh, yeah, we don't do it. So I think what happened was probably going too slow or needs more defense. Like I said, the survivability stats are a huge factor if you're not just hitting hard enough to uh, slice through the enemies. You cockroaches want to play rough? Okay, I'm reloading.